Well, due to forecasted fire weather conditions, the city of Los Angeles is declaring a red flag alert. And we are really encouraging people to visit lafd.org slash red flag for current parking restriction status as it will change. So the LAFD uses that specific term red flag alert to indicate forecasted or existing red flag conditions that are in the city of Los Angeles only. So it's a unique term because we know National Weather Service and other agencies use their terms uh, that incorporate red flag. But for us and for clarity, uh, red flag alert is called when the wind speed is 25 mile per hour or greater and the relative humidity is 15% or less. And the reason for that is because history has proven that a combination of strong winds, low humidity, and warm temperatures will create explosive fire growth potential. And it's really important then to have our fire apparatus, which is large, to have enough room to respond quickly to a fast moving brush fire while simultaneously allowing residents to evacuate if necessary. And it's because of that reason that special parking restrictions uh, may exist on certain narrow streets in brush areas only and during red flag alert conditions only. And it's during those red flag parking restriction periods that vehicles illegally parked in posted locations within that very high fire hazard severity zone, or a lot of words to, to mean it's a, a wildfire brush area, that they can be towed. So the parking restrictions are planned for at least 24 hours at a time, and then they're re-evaluated based on the weather conditions. So for areas in the zone, please look for red flag days, no parking signs, and ensure that you don't violate those restrictions. And additionally, your Los Angeles Fire Department will pre-deploy additional resources and augment staffing as necessary. So for October 18th, we're going to have two three-engine task forces that are going to be pre-deployed at select neighborhood fire stations that are in or near areas that are prone to wildfires. But we're going well beyond that. So we're having additional staffing for our air operations or helicopter staff. Uh, we also are having brush patrols. That's a four-wheel drive vehicle that can get up into the hills, put out small fires while they're small. We're also having bulldozer strike teams that will be available. Uh, water tenders, a unique big apparatus to, to bring water to remote areas where there's not good hydrant access. And even having additional 911 dispatchers due to an influx of emergency calls. And lastly, we also are having some volunteers, staff, wildfire camera monitoring. So they'll look at these areas and they'll see a plume of smoke in a brush area that will let us know that in fact, we do have a significant fire. We can have additional resources quickly respond and put it out. So we also know that not all forecasts become a reality. So because of that, the LAFD Valley Bureau, San Fernando Valley, that staff is gonna conduct some real-time weather surveys and they monitor the RAWs. That's the, the remote automated weather stations. And we're looking at those stations in and near the city of Los Angeles. And we're in continual consulting with the National Weather Service to stay abreast of fire weather conditions and forecasts. So we don't want people to be unnecessarily worried. However, you can see that we are leaning forward due to this upcoming wildfire weather concerns. And we ask people, to be prepared. One less spark is one less wildfire. Know your Ready, Set, Go program. And we thank you.